I know. Come on, one of you bastards buy me a bag to eat. Come on. Yeah. What do you think shock me these days? Barner? Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh. <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Hey, folks. We don't need any more trouble from you here. Right here, mister. Welcome back, sir. Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. Okay, this should be good. How's your friend getting on with those new clothes? Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion, but... Each to their own, I suppose. I'd be very surprised if you had a lady, my friend. Well, uh, well, not right now. But I've had my share. Anyway.
Okay. Take a browse. And there was me with my hopes up. Folks like that. That's popular. Uh, it's all good. All of it. Done. You can't go wrong here. Unless you own the place. Always running out of that. A lot of folks like that. Always running out of that. A lot of folks like that. What's caught your eye? No need to bluff. You want one of those little dolls, don't you? Fine. See that statue outside? The one to fallen soldiers? Old Major Crawley put it up. He sometimes pops in here, you know. Have you ever seen such a clean and tidy store? A 
for such a bored man. Yours. That's it for now. So long. Nice to see you again, partner. What can I offer you? Terrible thing what happened at the parlor house. No surprise the Braithwaites were behind it. Well, have a look. it'll be here when you change your mind. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. You know, that gun could use a few choice parts, really make us sing. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. This here store's as proud and fine as the town it lives in. Oh, yes.
See Mr. Banks across the way there? He ain't the friendliest at first, but he's nice enough when you get to know him. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. That could really shine with some carbon in it. I carry only quality goods here. Now, I do have some foreign-made iron when it's quality, but here in Rhodes, American is preferred. I make sure to test all my goods for quality and defects. That's a guarantee. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Interested in a stock? Could put some carbons on it, too. That's a wise investment. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. I'd keep away from the butcher's sausage. There's a reason he keeps the price so low. I've heard some unsavory things about that salesman, Virgil Fish or something. And the Yankee sympathizing is the least of it. Thanks, partner. I got thick skin, but damn it, this place. Oh, I know, honey. 
You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks.
whoa. Get you back to the dock. Know this fella, don't you? Oh, 
look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. you want you okay <laughs> do I look okay <laughs> no you look awful Ugh. awful look at me useless I wasn't born to this I didn't deserve this I used to be a gentleman Jeremiah Compson Compson stead good for you that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Okay then, girl.
Hey! But I'd keep moving if I was you. <laughs> what did I tell you? Okay, my girl. Yep. There we go.
believe that worked yeah well we don't got time to celebrate come on so what's your plan anyway plan I plan not to it ain't my problem now shut up hurry up idiot Thank you. Yes, a long time ago. We all know flowers wither. Arthur! Arthur! Morning, Mr. Morgan. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, 
I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> Hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but... Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Why are you riding off on me? So, you were saying? Of course. Trelawney. Hey there! Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. You see anything there? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Found anything? Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. What are you doing? Let's go. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Yep. Hmm. 
They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams itself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney, to get Sean after the bar fight? I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said it. Damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Slow it down. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. You are done now. Thing. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. I should do it. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Okay. I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know... ...how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. 
If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. the cornfields. That must be it. The thing is, after that oh. shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh. Uh. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh. So you're uh. alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this.
Hey! I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. King Arthur, you must be close. <laughs> He's mine! Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. Money. Taking the money. No, I'm a fool. Oh, uh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. God damn you! The gunshots are coming from that barn! Should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on, let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Get. We'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and... Bounty hunters to us. Ah, uh, I hope you're right.
I thought you wanted to get out of here. Trelawney and go? <laughs> Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? They were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems... You stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Been a while, girl. Welcome. Come have a look around. So apparently, Archibald McGregor put down another moonshine steal the Braithwaite's had out in the swamps. They're shameless, that family.
tired of talking. How about we get back to it?
Hello, sirs. Morning. Good morning, sir. I can scarce see my own feet in this fog. Wait, you look a lot... No, don't listen to me. What? We had some trouble here with a couple of brothers, and you just have a look of one of them. Uh, don't, don't mind me. No, no, I'm sorry to hear that. In here, join? Well, we are there now. Settle down, fellas. Loonies. I mean, the Sunday Southerner. You're in my spot. <laughs> Now get! Oh, there ain't no cause, no more. Don't pretend otherwise. Move along. We ain't looking for your company. Hey, now. You're gonna leave here. You got me? I heard about a terror of robberies going Calm on. Down. Get the hell away from here! Okay. You don't leave, I'll make you leave. That's simple. Guess you want a piece! Why can't you raiders leave it at the door? Please, fellas! Not Let's see if we can't clobber uh, some sense into you! You might not be from the morn, but you'll <coughs> die here. Oh, you're getting spit. You'll die for that, you son of a bitch! Take that! <coughs> what shall we play at your funeral? <coughs> Sissy! <coughs> I don't know which to use more pathetic. Come Got on, now. get a hold of yourself. I'll riddle you with bullets. <laughs>
Hey, mister. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's my girl. How you keep? Is 
everything all right, sir? Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. Just get back on the bloody horse. Every time. I thought you wanted to drive. Sometime today, it'd be nice, Morgan. Are we going then? All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Do you even know where we're headed? Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. You just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. We can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and 
stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> yep. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal. In Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand... Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <sighs> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, <clears throat> <clears throat> You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born in down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left.
Uh, oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Give this a quick dousing as well. This is a quick dousing as well. Think she'll go, Arthur. Line her up. Woohoo! Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. You pay for this! Let's let off. You get those fears properly gone. Come on, Arthur. You got some horses from the stable. Come on. Not right now. We 
We got company. Look out! Where are these bastards coming from? Sons of bitches! You call that a party? That break weight had got a money's worth, Arlie. Right? Let's just get out of here first. The little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure.
here we are. Home sweet home. Can you let Jose know how we got on?
stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch? Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? Arthur! Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. <laughs> Let you control your horse. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you playing at? I don't have time for this. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. So like you were saying before, this is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to a player, but you know how he is. My, what a glorious day it turned out. You rest up here, girl. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. Yes, they've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, Ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> You might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Come on, girl. Okay, let's go. This way. What'd you forget, friend? That gun seems to be well taken care of. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own.
Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. That's a wise investment. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Hey, you know, that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. You'll notice the difference. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Weapon's only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. That'll help, I'm sure. You'll appreciate the improvement. That could really shine with some carbon in it. Here, if you got any questions. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. You'll notice the difference. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own.
I check the munitions before selling them. Won't get no jams or misfires. fitted the sheriff and all his deputies, you know. Yes, sir, I did. I've heard some unsavory things about that salesman, Virgil Fish, or something. And the Yankee sympathizing is the least of it. need anything special, you let me know. I maybe shouldn't say this, but I sold a derringer to a seamstress. A white one, of course. I make sure to test all my goods for quality and defects. That's a guarantee. happy to help. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Just as a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right.
Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There. It is right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Country. <laughs> yep. Easy now. a small show, but would you say you do something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Oh, 
Okay, girl. Yeah. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's all good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. All right, girl. Yep. Mr. Trelawney, forgive me. Javier? Hello, Arthur. Hey, Trelawney. Hello, Arthur. Hey. What you up to? Nothing much. Well, there's plenty of work to do around here. Sure, Morgan. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. We go to some place that will be all the way. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. I'll think about it. Do whatever you say. 
Hey, boy. Hey, boy. How's about this fate, I wonder? Come on. Whoa, okay. Hello, Arthur. Afraid you're staying with me. Gotcha. Ah, come here, you. Okay. Anything Biden, I wonder. Don't fight too much. You're not bad at all. 
Sorry, but <laughs> you're mine. Let's see if anything's biting. That's it, I think, yes. <laughs> wow! You're coming with me. Here we go. Okay.
Look at you. It isn't. Well, what's the plan? I mean, after Blackwater, we don't want any more deaths. I ain't just some too big. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Moore. I don't need this right now. I'm willing well, to I'm die. Well, I'm sorry this. to have troubled you. By all the second guessers. As you wish, my friend. They be good for nothing brats. Every last one of them. They're whores with ideas miles above their station. I mean, in my day, it just didn't happen. Talk back to a man on the I'd have been horse whipped. And I was. Good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hey there. <laughs> 